Hi everybody, welcome back. I have brought my dogs out once again to let them go crazy and um, I've realized I had a, quite a few new views on my channel so I thought I would introduce myself so that you can know a little bit more about me. So my name is Tammy. I'm originally from Nebraska. I've lived in South Dakota now for quite some time though so I probably can't really say I'm from Nebraska anymore but I still consider it my home and I pretty much love anything outside. So hiking, camping, fishing, hunting, just taking my dogs out, anything that gets me outdoors makes me happy. Well, this one right here is Bentley. Can you look? Can you look? Oh, this is Bentley. Bentley is the one that we've had since 2014. He has a, um, a little bit darker coloring, so he is, um, doesn't have as many solid patches, so solid liver patches like Berkeley does, but Bentley is has a little bit more of the ticking throughout. So Bentley is our one that is a pretty badass hunter. He pretty much lives for hunting, which is great because that's what these dogs are um, born to do. It's just kind of instinctual and so um, he's really fun to watch in the field he's pretty hardcore if you ever are putting on any sort of shoes gloves hat the minute you even go near something that looks like you're going outdoors he is right there to follow you right out that door and is whining the whole time he I like to call him a little bit neurotic he can't really sit still if I get up off the sofa he follows me wherever I go um, if I'm in a room that has a closed door he'll find a way to open that door he just doesn't really he likes to know what's going on at all times, so he does not like to be out of the loop in case something really fun is going to happen. So Bentley's a little neurotic, but he's a lot of fun and he's pretty damn badass in the field. one right here is Berkeley. So Berkeley, what came to us in about 2017. He is about a year and a half and he's not super interested in hunting. He likes to run around and be a little crazy and he bounces around and it looks like he knows what he's doing, but I don't think he's super interested. Um, he's a little bit more of a lazy family dog and he wants me to let him go. <laughs> and he really just prefers to cuddle. So at night he has to sleep near us. He usually has to be touching one of us at all time, but he's also pretty laid back. So when we're just relaxing, he'll just hang out too. So he's kind of lazy. If I'm cooking, he'll sit at my feet. And so he's kind of our lazy dog um, back there. Pee. Um, but he is super cuddly and super wonderful as a family dog, which is ha makes me happy too. I absolutely love South Dakota. Um, I can't imagine living anywhere else. Um, I could live in any part of this state and I could be happy. Um, so I've visited a lot of places, but I'm always in love with home. And um, so if you get a chance to come to South Dakota, you should. So that's a little bit about us and unfortunately my husband and my kids aren't with me today so you'll have to meet them in a different video soon. Um, otherwise I hope you'll tell me a little bit about you in the comments please so I can get to know you. Can anybody tell me is this a rub or his bark just falling off of the tree. I can't tell. If it's a rub, it's friggin' huge, but I'm not sure.
Um, if you follow me on Instagram at all, you know that this one here is quite the talker. So he's pretty hilarious. So if you want to stay up with his antics, you'll have to follow me over on Instagram because he's pretty dang funny. <laughs> Alright, I better go so that I can keep up with these two as fast as they are going and they're taking off so I better go and walk a lot faster. See ya!